Hey, Travis, good to see you. Hey, Kevin, how are you? All right, so we sent you uh, eight of these, right? You did. I mean, you looked at them. I mean, what did we send you? I mean, what, what do you know about these now? Well, they're 1800s. Uh, they're over 100 years old. Uh, they're all heart pine, Tuscan style columns. I mean, solid all the way through, right? They, they are. They were they were made out of one piece of one piece of log. And so these two came together. So this was a 10 foot log. It, it, it was. We've cut the bottom off of this one. This is the bottom that was on this one. It had an extensive rod in the bottom, from the handrail joints down. So. So that's the heart pine right there. That's good wood. You can see the remnants of the handrail on here. Yes. Every column gets cut from here down? It does. We're cutting all of them from the handrail down. That's where yeah. the water usually gets in the uh, mortise pocket and starts the rot process. And, I mean, were any of them original to our house, do you think? I think half of them were. Half of them have been replaced over time uh, right. from an architectural salvage depot or something like that. But they were replaced with an older column as well. So, I mean, now it's our job to fix them. I mean, I hate to ask it, but why not just replace them? I mean, wouldn't it be cheaper and easier if we just went and got a replica? It, it, it would be, but in, in Charleston, they like us to restore rather than to replace. It okay. keeps the historic fabric of the building, uh, makes the BAR happy, and uh, it's just uh, the thing to do here in Charleston. Makes us happy too. So what is the process for fixing them? You've already cut this off, and uh, you're ready to cut right here? We are. We're going to cut this off, and then we're going to salvage what's left of the column, which is about a five-foot section. This is all still good? It is still good. What goes here? This is going to be a new turn piece. We're going to glue up a new piece, stack laminate it, and get them ready for the lathe. All right, let's start the surgery. You ready right. to cut that? Yes, sir. Go far enough? It looks good, Kevin. Looks looks like we got all the rod out. We got a little filling to do here, but we're gonna drill a hole in this to accept the new plug anyway. So I think we're good. We're ready for the next stage. Wow, that is the new material. It is. It what? started out as 10 quarter Sapili mahogany. We've dressed it down to just over two inches now. Uh, now he's he's laminating it with with epoxy, stack layering it. Uh, getting it ready to be clamped up for the One, plug. One, two, three, four, five Five pieces. layers, five layers. And this is what we get when we're done. That's what this, you call this, the plug. This is the plug. It'll sit overnight 24 hours so it can cure and then we're ready to go to the lathe. Let me show you. Kevin, this is where we take those plugs we glued up on the other end. We bring them down here. We make a template to match the profile that we need. We put it on the machine and we start turning. He's about 90% done with this one. We're, we're on the final pass. After he gets done with the final pass, he'll turn the receptor tenon, which, which locks it in. So you can see the following template right there. Exactly. That, that follows it, traces it, almost like a key machine in sense. So how long is it going to take him to go from the plug to a finished piece here? The overall time is about an hour and a half to get to this point. Kevin, this is the plug that we had glued up earlier. We've got it spun. We're ready to attach it to the column that we've turned upside down. We've got it secured. Cooper's going to put it on here for us and show us how we do it. So that's the bottom going into this. It is. More epoxy? More epoxy. Same epoxy we use to stack laminate it. We're going to put a generous amount up here on top of the column and then, of course, on top of the plug itself and then he'll, he'll put it up in place. All right, now we're ready to attach this thing. Holy mackerel. Now that we've got it in place, he's going to toe screw it with three inch screws. So now we're back up to the full length of the column. Kevin, the guys will do a dry fit here, the same as we did on the bottom repair on the other columns. They'll get it tweaked out just right, and then we'll, we'll be ready to glue this one. 
This one's already been glued. We started putting the fairing filler on it, which is a peanut butter, what we call, uh, which is just a mix of epoxy and a, and a fairing filler. It gets peanut buttered and then it stands about 10 hours and then we're ready to sand. Come on over and I'll show you. Kevin, this one's been drying overnight. He's starting the sanding process now. After he gets it sanded up, everything's smooth. We're ready to put a coat of primer on it. Then it's ready to come back to the job site. Which is actually where I'm headed next. Travis, thank you so much, you and your guys. We appreciate you saving our old time. Thank you. It was awesome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.